everyone welcome to a brand new sophie and toffee unboxing i actually have two for you guys today but we're gonna start with this one here and the next one will be in the next video this is the brand new puni puni craft box i might be saying that wrong i really hope i've got it right i've been practicing and it is a brand new squishy making box and i am so hecky excited i had literally just made the leap to buy the um like one of the kits of the brand new squishy gel when they announced this one i was so excited and i didn't even try it so i was like oh, i want to try a little kit first good things are coming this is really cute it's got the like the little paper in there i'm sorry i'm so excited because we've been getting spoilers from this one and it's taken so long but it's a kitty burger box and pictures pictures ah, i'm so excited so really cool we've got a lot of exclusive molds we'll get to unpacking now being molds they might be a little tricky to see but we've got lots in here oh my stars everything was packed really well i'm pretty excited all right this looks like our burger mold like you said, these are kitty burgers, so you'll notice <laughs> they've got little ears in them. Oh my stars, I'm so excited. So we've got the base and the top, and I'm going to keep them back in their container, so you're going to hear some crunching, but I don't want them to get dusty. Next, we have our little charms and inclusions. They look like jelly candies. They're pretty shimmery and sparkly. We've got a couple little keychains. We have bigger puni puni bags. And we have some little ones as well. I didn't know we were getting little ones too. I've seen a few um a few spoilers, quite a few spoilers, honestly. And it's because these guys are really sticky. There's a special type of PVC bag. It's different than like a traditional plastic bag, um, but it is like resealable sort of thing. So you fill it all up, put all your inclusions in there, your squishies, and then you squish them through this bag. Um, so just the right texture for that. And I was so excited to see this because I had just seen a tutorial where they're like, oh, this is the type of bag you need, I'm trying to go find it and everything else. Exactly what we needed is this guy here. It looks like these ones are perfect for like little minis. They all have a keychain hole on them too. So we can have tiny keychain charm minis. And get a better view of our little candy guys here. They're in a little baggie. And I'd love for you to see the texture if possible. Ah, there we go. Oh my gosh. All right. They're making me very hungry. I want to pop it in my mouth so badly. Um, but it's like that rough, scratchy texture, and then very smooth on this side, just like those sugar-coated gummies. They look delicious. And we got three of each bag kind, so enough to use for quite some time. And then we have our next molds, and these are all the fillings for our sandwich. I'm going to leave it in here because I feel like you guys can see just fine. We have a pickle, we have a cheese, a tomato a patty, a lettuce, and a fried egg. There you go. Got this one you can see too. And a really thick mold. It's really sturdy and you really want a good firm mold when you are um, setting up your squishy gel because it's very, it's very liquid, but it still needs to be flexible enough that you can get your pieces out without hurting them. Um, I'm liking the texture so far, so we'll see how well it works. Um, that's, it's really got to get to a nice happy spot with those. Ooh, we have a little toolkit here. And so we need to take everything out if we can. We've got a few craft sticks. They're like little mini popsicle sticks. A couple stirring cups. They actually gave us quite a few. So we can do a couple batches or a couple different colors. Um, pictured was like those little blue gloves, but we just got like the little cheapy plastic gloves. 
I think that's fine. I have blue gloves if really needed, but I'm terrible about proper PPE. And this one is a Vaseline. Um, it says really rosy lips for pink soft lips. It looks like they took, like it's a, it's not the Vaseline brand. It's um, the packaging for the rosy lips, but it's, it's not tinted. It's just regular ointment, um, which is awesome for them to include a little container for this because you're going to need to grease your molds too um, and make sure you don't get the grease inside of things but I think it might help to get on your hands if you are not wearing your gloves um, but just be aware that it's the labeling is a little bit odd but it's just regular Vaseline I'll open it up later next up this is amazing we have oh, our new squishy gel Whew. and everything was really well packed in these so I'm very very happy um, they are not labeled the same as like on the card and all the pictures it doesn't have like the squeezy bottle with all the labels um, it is handwritten A and B um, so maybe finding a way to kind of wrap that up I think I'm gonna put like washi tape on it so I can tell the difference because I have a feeling that, yeah, it's it's going to come right off. Oh my gosh. Um, so find a way to mark them so you know which is which. We don't seem to have instructions in here. Let's see what we've got in here. We ha should have some pigment dye. And oh, that one's a little greasy. Looks like we have a little bit of an implosion, so we'll be careful here. We've got a yellow, we've got a blue, I don't know what may have leaked or not leaked because it doesn't seem to be colorful on my hands, a green, a brown, a pink, a black, oh it's getting more and more greasy as we get down. <laughs> Oh, it's so oily. A red. And an orangey yellow. And a white. So I'm going to put them right back in their bag to keep them in here. But we've got a ton. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. So nine different pigment dyes, which is a crazy amazing amount. Like I said, I'm gonna keep them back in there so we don't leak all over and ruin the hands. Had tissues on hand just in case, because sometimes things happen. But overall, that is a ton. Oh, the picture on here is so heckin' cute. Look at that. And these types of squishies are a little bit sticky, so your um, your toys will kind of stick together, but you can like peel them apart too. So I'm excited to try that out. I'm really excited to try that out. Um, and it looks like we all need to look up our own directions. So I think I'll try out this Sophie and Toffee page because there are none included. We didn't get a book like we usually do with the resin. It's just one slip and nothing else hidden in the box but a really nice full box and a great starter kit especially if you want to do something like this but you're not a fan of um toxicity of resin or things like that um so yeah i'll show you how it goes bye everybody